Hi everyone, <clears throat> this is uh, Charles Harper, and as promised, um, I'm going to be uh, just kind of talking today. Um, and <clears throat> as you can see, I've kind of chosen not to uh, hide behind my slides today, so um, I, I just kind of want to go over what I think you know we can all be and what we really can be doing, you know, during this time. And obviously, you know, wherever you are in the world, you know, things are kind of turning upside down in terms of. Um, definitely in terms of business in general and um, just kind of depending on where you are in the economy you know it's going to affect you know what you do and so whatever it is that that you're going to be doing if you are probably in this group that means that you're buying business content that means that you're probably serving business people in some way shape or form whether you're serving online business people or you're serving offline business people or you're serving some hybrid or you're serving coaches um, you're serving business people and so there are some things that I think that we can be doing because we're going to be a little different than probably other people in other businesses we're different than econ people obviously we're different because you know we're not necessarily selling a physical product and we're not necessarily worried that we're either going to have stock outs or we're going to have things that you know are, are not going to be in style uh, or, or not going to be things that people want, you know, during the quarantine. We are going to be different. And so one of the things that I think that we can all be doing, and one of the things I think we all have to be doing, whoever you are and whatever you're doing, if you're serving business content, is to really kind of determine where you want to be inside of your niche or your sub-niche, and really to take this time, however long it happens, to start teaching. And you know, if you if you have a group, if you have a personal Facebook page, if you have a, a YouTube channel, I'm really going to suggest that you take this time to start teaching. And that if you if you however you do it, um, if you talk about going live every day, um, go live inside of your group, go live on your page, go live on your YouTube channel. If you have a webinar system, use the webinar system, and 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 really just start to take all of those things that you have been learning and then to start teaching them and be a voice in your sub niche first and foremost so whatever you're doing and so <clears throat> if you are using you know the PLR content that you have from us to sell that content or you're using that content to teach other people I don't think it really matters whatever you're doing I think it's really paramount on all of us us information marketers during this period of time to start teaching so 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 um, that that's sort of that's sort of one thing. The other thing is obviously, you know, if you're going to be teaching on a daily basis, if you're going to be teaching on a regular basis, then you have to be getting that information from someplace. And so this is really the time to really kind of focus and narrow down sort of your area of expertise. And and there are only really a couple of ways of really to do that. I think um, one thing that I've been doing that I caught from you know uh, from Ben Settle, and that is this. I have noticed over the course of time that I've been doing online marketing, I have bought any number of information products. I mean, I've got a ton of books and I read them. But sometimes you go, you can go through stuff when you're an internet marketer and you can be, what they, they say, an inch deep and a mile wide. And so you can read a lot of stuff. You can take in a lot of stuff. But we take in so much that it's really hard to really kind of focus. And so instead of trying to read more stuff, uh, one thing that I'm doing, and I really want to encourage you to kind of consider doing this, is, is to pick the one thing that you have kind of been putting off. Maybe it's one information product that you know is so long and so in-depth that you just kind of put it off because you really felt like you needed time to do it. Um, I really want to encourage you to find that one or two those one or two things that you know you have to learn and even if you have to watch and listen and read those things uh, five to ten times really narrow down so again I'm this is what I'm gonna be doing I mean, there's a book that I've been talking about I mean you've been you have been hearing me talking about called perennial seller um, I've been listening to this on audio uh, I am now reading this over and over again until I get it uh, there's one video 
over the last week that I've been watching from Dan Kennedy about wealth attraction. And again, it's, it's not what you think. I mean, at some point, I'll even put it in the group. But the point isn't that you need to watch or listen to what I watch or listen to. But the point is to kind of find the one thing during this period of time and really get it. Try to find something that maybe you haven't really gotten it. Because again, I, I, and I think it's true for all of us, that you, you sort of you, you sort of read we read so much information, and we we take in so many good information products that we never really get the meat out of the 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 one or two that really matter. And what that really takes is time and concentration. And so maybe take one thing, and until you've read it ten times, I can probably guarantee you you probably really don't have it down. Even if you took notes on it, um, it it really does take the human brain. And you've heard this. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. It really takes the human brain seven times, right? Until, until you, you probably have not absorbed something until you read it, until you get it into your brain seven times. I'm saying take, take, take those one or two things that you know are vital to your growing as a business person. Read it seven to ten times during this period of time. And, 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 and that is so that you will really get the growth from the one thing, because if you thought enough of it, of it to buy it, if you thought enough of it, whether it's an information product or it's a book, you thought enough of it to buy it, you like the title, you probably read it. But outside of one or two times, outside of five, six, seven times, it's hard to really get concentrated time to focus. So, so we said two things so far. Number one, be a voice in your sub niche. Start teaching now, right? Number two, um, uh, if, if you're going to be a voice, start taking in the most important concepts in your market and in your niche and get them so that even if you have to read them five to ten times, that's number two. Probably number three is probably a little less, uh, is a little peculiar in particular to those of us who are, you know, video PLR users, and that's going to be you. And I have been saying, and you've been hearing me say over the last two months, this is really the time to get your content into your learning center and to build it. So if, you, if you've been trying to struggle to find the time to build up the kind of learning center where you can ask for a monthly payment, Right, that's going to be worth it. Well, you've got a ton of stuff in there. Now's the time to build it up. Look at all the stuff in your hard drive. Do an inventory. Take a look and find out what it is that you have that's relevant, what it is that you have that you want to teach the people in your niche, and build up your asset. If you've got Coach Zippy, use that. If you've got Teachable, use that. If you've got Everlesson, use that. If you've got um, some of you all have WP Courseware. Now's the time to, 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 okay, you know what? This is going to be the time. Let's say that, 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 that this thing lasts to the end of March. You now have 15 days to build up your learning center and to build it. There is nothing stopping you. If you are quarantined or you're not out and about, take that extra time, build your learning center. Make sure that it is ready so that you can ask for $30, $40, $50 a month. If you've got to add something, you take an assessment and look at it and say, you know what, let me put mine up against one of the top in the industry. Let us put let me put mine up against maybe Russell Brunson's. And I'm not saying you have to be comparing yourself to him, but I'm saying you want to be able to have that learning center so that it makes it to that level that you can say, you know what, I'm comfortable now. I want to ask for $20, $30, $40, $50 every single month, whenever the thing is over. And even during this, this period, if you are teaching business people, right, one of the things they know, and this kind of segs into sort of the fourth thing, um, I, you and I have the ability uniquely to serve business owners and organization uh, and, and people who, have, who run organizations because they need to get their message out. And not everybody knows how to do things like live stream, what I'm doing with you right now. Not everybody knows how to share their desktop. Not everybody knows how to use Zoom. Some of you all have PLR bars. Take that PLR, go out to your community, and I'm saying maybe you don't, maybe you don't, you know, you don't want to be physically there, 
but show people how to do this. Show people how to do exactly what you and I already know how to do, what I'm doing with you right now. Show them how to get their message out because just like I'm broadcasting to you, just like I'm suggesting you broadcast to the people in your sub-niche, if you were serving business people, you and I have a responsibility to start teaching these people to start broadcasting their message. Right, that's going to be vital. You and I need to be a voice in our sub niche. They need to be a voice in their corner of the world. And they're not going to do it unless you suggest it to them and you teach. So whatever you're teaching, right? If you're teaching, however you're coaching people during this period of time, during the quarter, quarter uh, you know, during the quarantine, you have to teach your people that they've got to start broadcasting. They've got to start teaching. And look, if they've got the resources, you've got our Zoom course, or you've got our, um, or you've got our course on YouTube Live, sell it to them, right? I mean, don't give it away. Um, coach them on it. Show them how to do it. Again, I mean, I'm not saying you're going to give all this stuff away. I'm not saying you're going to give everything for free. But when you go with the mindset of trying to serve people in the area in which they need the most help, right now, People who do not know how to do it, they must be talking into the void because people are going to be at home, right? People are going to be at home. Um, they're they're going to be bored out of their minds. Um, <laughs> some people, you know, some people ha who who you know don't have to talk to their spouse all day and all day all night. Now they got to be there with them all day. I'm telling you, you know, uh, people need something to do. They need something constructive to do. And you and I have the resources. I mean, even if you've only got two or three of our courses, and even if you only know a little bit that you can actually teach, you have the resources to help people to grow. And you can do that just with the things you know right now. So, again, um, um, go out however you do it. I'm not saying you go physically there, but I'm saying get the people in your circle. I'm not even talking about, I'm telling my even broader than the business sense. Show people how to broadcast your message. And finally, just in the same way as, as I'm telling, suggesting that you build up your learning center, um, we are now going to, don't you, this is a really wild period. If you really think about it and you find your angle and you find your way of serving people, people are now going to be open more than ever to learning just like you and I are learning right now, through their computer, right, through their mobile device. People are now going to be open to that, more open than they've ever been open before. And so now you and I are positioned uniquely in order to start sharing this with them, to sharing with them the very same things that we have been talking about over and over. Now is not the time for you to, you know, for, I mean, again, I mean, I, 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 I love, you know, social media. I mean, you know, um, I have a love and hate relationship with it. I don't like the, the time suck on it. I do like the fact that you can reach people. And what I'm saying to you is don't spend your time worried about, you know, uh, the, 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 you know, about the toilet paper and all that stuff's cool. All the, you know, and, you know, I know we like to joke and all the other stuff. I'm saying all that's great, but now's the time to broadcast. And now's the time to start showing people how they can broadcast. You already have the knowledge. And, 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 and so broadcast and educate, right? So in the same way that you're, you know, you're going you're gonna to build up your learning center, you've got to get to these other organizations and they've got to build up their learning center too, right? They've got to build organizations that are learning organizations so that their people can now take this time to learn from them. And so, and so these, these are just some things that I think that are going to be peculiar to those of us who work with video. Those of us who, of you who have our PLR video, um, you are uniquely positioned during this time to show people how to teach, to show people how to broadcast, to show people how to build up a learning center. I mean, again, I mean, you know, um, if you have e-learning playbook, you have the tools now, you can actually go and build a learning center uh, for somebody else, right? Some of you all have, I think, the reseller version of Coach Zippy. Right? If you have the reseller version of Coach Zippy, I'm going to really suggest that you take it, you go out, and you help people to build their own learning center. You don't have to physically be there. right? Just show people how to build up their own learning center. And so uh, let's see, uh, William's asking, what's a PLR bar? It could have just been something I said 
off off rant. I'm not sure what I, how I said uh, 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 William. I probably something I mispronounced, right? Could could have been something I mispronounced. But um, but yeah. So 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 again, uh, just the, the, we, I think that more than anything else, um, you and I are really positioned to to do this. Those of us who work with video, right? I see my friend Steve Doherty here. I think he knows what I'm talking about. Um, you and I are really uniquely positioned more than anybody else in the online marketing space to start showing people how to do, um, how to teach, how to build out places where people can learn, um, how to be that voice, that resource, um, how to build up a learning asset, right? Um, th that's what the e-learning playbook. Let's see, Stacy, the book I talked about was called Perennial Seller, right? And uh, this is, I've been reading this, it's by uh, Ryan, um, holiday. And uh, I'm probably on my third or fourth reading in the last month. And I'm going to be going through this. Um, I'm going to be going through this probably another, I'm going to try to get up to 10 times until I really get the, until I really get the meat of it. But, uh, but, but yeah. Um, so, so those are some things and I'm probably going to try to come um, probably less uh, uh, of the videos that I typically do which are going, which are my PowerPoint videos. I'm going to be doing a little more of this at least till the quarantine is over. Um, this doesn't really take me any any effort uh, as much that you know I've got a. Uh, I don't I don't have to write a lesson out beforehand. I probably should because I'm probably rambling, um, but uh, but but I can do this from my mobile device, and I really want to do this until you know this sort of quarantine period is over because again I really I really want you to do the same thing, right? I, you can be a voice in your marketplace. And finally, I'm just going to kind of tell you about something that I'm doing. Um, first with PLR, Let, let's talk about that. Uh, I'm going to be giving you some assets so that you can teach some of these concepts. So I'm sort of shifting what it is that I'm going to be producing so that, you know, the PLR that you get from us, uh, you will then be able to go out and teach some of these things. That's sort of one thing. And then the other thing is, I think sort of an interesting thing happened. I don't know if you saw it, if you keep up with it. I mean, I don't know how many of you all, uh, how many of you all actually uh, uh, use meetup.com or you are a meetup.com owner. And so I actually have a group and I have been talking off and on for years about, about using meetup. And, uh, and so the last meetup I've done was back in 2017. And so what Meetup has always said is that we don't want you doing meetups just to do virtual groups. You have to have face-to-face -face contact. But since the quarantine started happening, uh, what they're now saying is that they want to experiment now, and they're saying they want us, those of us who are paying Meetup, who have the groups, to start doing exactly what we're doing and to connect with people using online meetings, whether they're webinars, whether they're Facebook Lives. So they're now open to using Meetup in order to connect with people. So if you don't have a list right now and you don't have, let's say, uh, a, 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 a tribe yet, I'm going to suggest that <clears throat> You take your knowledge and your wisdom and you go into your local area. And the way you go into your local area is you start a group inside a meetup. Is it going to cost you? Yes, it is going to cost you. I think it's $19 a month. So I, I full disclosure, and I don't get anything from meetup or anything like that. But what happens when you have a popular topic inside a meetup, and it's one way that you can really test to see how popular a topic is. When you set up a, a topic inside a meetup, you will get people joining your group. And one of the things that has always been a problem with meetup is people never come because, I mean, it's hard to kind of come out of your house and to kind of go to a place and go with meet people you don't know. But now they're saying that they will allow you to build up this following of people inside of meetup and at the same time, they're saying you can use a virtual meeting. <clears throat> so if you have Zoom, if you have GoToWebinar, even if all you want to do is you want to build a group, this is a great way of, of, a, of being able to test some of your ideas. 
So let's say that you've been having an idea that you want to bring to the JVZoo Warrior Plus Marketplace. But the first thing you got to do is you got to test that concept. You got to get some results. You got to get some sales. You got to get some, 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 some leads. And you got to see if your concept works. This is the perfect opportunity and the perfect time while Meetup is saying, hey, we want you all to do this, to, to, get, to get your group and to start meeting with them virtually. Right. And so and so again, now I, I listen, I'm not trying to find a way for you to spend money. I might find a way to try to know if you make another monthly payment. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying, though, is it is a unique opportunity during this period of time. It's one that I'm going to actually be doing. And, and, and truth be told, and I'm going to end after this because I've gone way much longer than I wanted to. This is really what I've been waiting for. Right. And so I have not been able to find the time. I have been wanting to do this workshop. And if you've been following my emails, over the years, uh, I start and stop a local workshop. I've started and stopped one. I've started and stopped one. I've started and stopped one. And always a problem was I couldn't keep up. I just, I just couldn't maintain it. And, you know, sometimes you do a meetup and three people will come. Sometimes 10 people will come. And then nobody will come, you know, because, again, it's just hard to be in that cycle of being, you know, of, of setting the, getting the room, promoting it and being in that cycle and then getting the word out so that people come. When well, now what they're saying now is that I can meet with my group virtually. I've got about 300 people in one group. I've got about 150 in another group. I've had these groups for years. These people have been in my group for years. I've only done a few meetups, but now since I can do them virtually, um, this is where I want to start testing my concepts, right? So in other words, before I come to you with a PLR product, this is something I've been wanting to do before I release a video product is to go to someplace else to see how it works. And so what I really want to now uh, and, and am going to do is to get into the cycle of going to my group first with the concept. And then when I release the video PLR, we then know what it's going to do. Now, again, I know people can do that in other areas, but this is going to be, I think, unique and uh, I, and again, if something you're interested in doing, um, I really want to encourage you get inside of me of Meetup, start a group. Um, yeah, it's going to cost you twenty bucks. Um, and, and and even if even if all you're doing is market research to find out if people are interested in your title in your local area, and then meet with them virtually. Okay, um, so that's really it, uh, uh, everybody. That's what I wanted to talk to you all about tonight. Are, are there any questions? Uh, any any questions? So does anybody have any questions? You can put them here uh, in the book. I will put the, if you're interested, I'll put the video that I was talking about uh, by Dan Kennedy, the one that I have watched, I think, five times. Um, I'm trying to get up to 10 times before this is over. Again, so I can absorb the, the knowledge. And again, uh, this is just kind of the new concept I got from Ben Settle. Um, I'm, I'm instead of instead of trying to go wide with my knowledge, I'm trying to get the thing I want to learn and to go deep until I really, really, really get it. Okay, everybody. So thank you very much for uh, coming out here. I appreciate you all. Uh, please uh, just kind of watch your watch your email. I will try to post this to my YouTube channel also. So if you want to watch it over there, uh, you can. Um, and though, but but I will be doing these from the group and then you know if i can get them up on youtube and other places i'll get them up there oh one last thing the video reseller challenge 30 day reseller challenge um i am going to now uh since i'm going to be doing these uh, uh much more frequently what i'm going to do with the 30 day reseller challenges i'm going to i'm going to finish those lessons but i'm going to finish them over the course of two to three days so i will invite uh you watch your email I'll invite you, and what's going to happen is I'm going to, on one day, I'm going to record eight episodes. Another day, I'm going to record another 10 episodes. Another day, I'm going to record another eight episodes, whatever the case is, until I finish it. And then I will try to release that to you by the end of this month. So the 30-day, my goal for the 30-day reseller challenge is to release it to you, if, if not by the end of this month, then sometime next month. And, and, to, and to try to have something ready for you in that way. Okay, so thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate y'all being here. Have a great day, a great night, and a pleasant tomorrow. Take care.